Okay, this should be a short one. Uh, I just want to take a look at uh, arsenic chloride. I guess that would be the proper name for it, and find out uh, what the proper bond, or not proper, but what the bond angle is going to be for this. Uh, you know, I, it's kind of a metal, I guess, sort of a metalloid. I don't know if that counts as a salt or not, but it doesn't matter. What I want to do is find out the shape of it and the angle between the bonds. So uh, here's the way I'm going to do it. Going to first of all put arsenic right here in the middle. Okay. And arsenic has five valence electrons, right? And chlorine has seven. And since there are three of them, I'm going to multiply that to get 21 plus the five equals 26. Okay, so I've got 26 electrons that I need to give a home, and here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to, whoops, going to say uh, chlorine, you can go here. Chlorine, you can go here, and chlorine, you can go here. And now it's time for you to share. So I've got uh, 26, whoops, 26 electrons, and I'm going to go 2, 4, 6. So I subtract those 6, and that gives me 20. Okay, and uh, let's see that, uh, well, you know, all the chlorines are going to want to have eight, one, you know, between this pair and the three uh, around it, so that's going to be 18, right? Six times three, so minus 18, and I'll represent them right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, you know, a lot of people like to just draw like lines around them, which is definitely more efficient, but it's not as pretty, is it? No, it's not. Okay, so now I've got uh, 18 electrons for everybody, uh, and I've got two left over, so they have to go somewhere, and where do they go? They don't have an element, so they're going to end up in a loop out like this, and so, you know, you can kind of imagine those extra two electrons being right here, and if we've got four shapes, if you watched the last video, you know that the angle between these shapes uh, let me change colors here. This is going to be, well, you would think if this were an element that this would be 109, right? That would be true if this were an element on top. This is not an element. This is a free electron pair, and it's going to push a little bit harder on these than just a, a, an element would. So what you're going to see here is a bond angle of 107 degrees because of the extra push from this instead of 109 and a half that you'd get if it were, you know, one more chlorine there. That helps. Bye.